Well, I covered this before, but I'm going to mention it again, uh, because I, I talked about this film, this Disney film, Strange World, which is essentially an environmentalist, uh, homosexual, uh, indoctrination propaganda. That's all that the thing is. You know, the main character is openly homosexual, and there's just all these environmentalist themes and everything else. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, uh, my views on environmentalists, uh, many of them are just total nuts. I mean, the kind of stuff they do to, to prove their point is just totally insane. Uh, I could say more on that, but... This environmentalist uh, LGBT ideology propaganda film is costing them over well over a hundred million dollars at the box office. It's failing and flopping, as are all the other films where they try to insert this woke liberal SJW ideology into their uh, so-called kids films. But this is on Breitbart. It says Disney's gay green strange world to lose 147 million dollars. Yeah, we are we are living in a strange world when they think that this kind of stuff is somehow going to be appealing to families. But it says here in the article, over Thanksgiving, the child groomers at Disney again sought to groom your child, which cost them a loss of up to 147 million. A strange role of Disney's latest 140 to 180 million, not counting promotion costs, animated feature, is all about spreading environmental propaganda and exposing your child to adult sexuality. One of Strange World's lead, lead characters is a gay teenage boy in love with another boy. The plot, this plot point, has nothing to do with teaching with teaching children teaching children tolerance for people who might be different and everything to do with shattering your child's innocence yeah exactly the lgbt agenda always goes after children because they're the ones see with an adult it's it's much harder to talk them into believing certain things because they're much more critical thinkers that's why you know uh this is this kind of stuff is geared towards kids because kids are not able to critically think like teenagers or adults can but it says here, in, uh, continuing on in the article, Disney even tried to hide the fact that Strange World featured teenage homosexuality. It didn't work. Disney's predatory embrace of child grooming, drag queens, and advocating the mutilation of children on the altar of the sicko trans movement is no longer a secret. Disney, The Disney brand is forever damaged. Decent parents no longer trust Disney, nor should they. Yeah, I mean, they went from being actual, you know, family friendly to where they just put out entertainment for kids to now trying to put, trying to, uh, brainwash your kids into believing that it, it's somehow it's somehow a good idea to change your gender when you don't even know what that thing even even means. You know these these the secular liberals it cracks me up. They always like to say, well, you know, uh, you shouldn't teach your kids religion because they're not able to you know really understand what that is. But it's somehow they're able to understand what gender and sexuality is and what it means to essentially change your gender. Yeah. So anyway, continuing on in the article, the early estimates for Strange World's opening weekend, uh, the normally, normally lucrative five-day Thanksgiving holiday, uh, started uh, uh, right around 40 million, which uh, this that makes perfect sense in a world where Disney is not not preying on your children. Last year, under the exact same conditions, Thanksgiving opening 30-day theatrical window before going on Disney Plus, Disney uh, Disney's Enchanto, Encanto, however you say it, Encanto, sorry. Uh, opened to 41 million, but a lot has happened since last Thanksgiving. Namely, Disney outed itself as a pro grooming, as pro grooming featured homosexuality in the Toy Story movie uh, Lightyear, which tanked, and exposing kids to drag queens. The result is that Strange World ended its five day opening with a disastrous 18 million worldwide. Not just domestically, worldwide. 18 million. Uh, Strange World grossed just 28 million. That is pretty bad. I mean, that's to say the least. Worldwide, only 18 million. That's pretty bad. I mean, there's more people in uh, in the city of Tokyo than, you know, how many people how many people would have paid to watch this film worldwide. But it says here, uh, hey, if this, it says here in the article, hey, if Disney wants to make gay movies, it should. Uh, if Disney wants to make children entertainment uh, for children of gay parents, it should. Hollywood should make entertainment for everyone. What you can't do, what people won't stand for, is mainstreaming this stuff. Mainstreaming this stuff. Homosexuality makes straight people uncomfortable. We don't go to the movie. We don't go to the movies to be uncomfortable. Mainstreaming it uh, to children is un. Uh, it's basically is not. It's not a good thing to do. It's unconscionable. Uh, suddenly, instead of thinking about love, they are thinking about complicated, uh, complicated. Sorry, the complicated world of sexuality long before they are ready. Decent people don't do that to children. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's essentially indoctrination because kids are not able to critically think like an adult or a teenager can. So when you hear about these transgender kids, oh, they chose to be that way. Give me a break. They can't even if they, if they can't choose what religion they are according to these secular atheists, then that means they can't choose to change their gender because they probably they don't even know what that thing means. It's insanity, you know. That's why 
there's so much objection to this because it's geared towards a young audience of kids who are not able to critically think and actually understand you know essentially if they're being talked into changing their gender they're not, they're not able to really understand what that is and object to it that's the thing too that's why there's much more objection even films that have you know that are geared towards an adult audience like the movie bros it got a lot of pushback too because what well, we don't we don't go to the movies to, to be preached liberal pol uh, political propaganda we don't want to we don't pay to see that normal people that is maybe these blue-haired feminists on the internet who constantly are offended at everything might want to pay to see that but they're not the minority i mean they're not the majority sorry they're just allowed an annoying minority on the internet pretty much so anyway, wanted to point that out. Another uh, woke, liberal, SJW, LGBT ideology box office flop, which is not surprising one bit. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.